This is the second half of our day where we went to Isaac Gaylord Palms. I am back at Pop Century. Ben is here too. He just ran our coats, minus Megan's coat, and our bag of stuff that we bought at Gaylord Palms to the room. It is raining right now. Once again, <laughs> Megan left something somewhere. This happened in New Orleans too. I'll link it up here. We went to get out of the taxi here at uh, Pop Century and she was missing her coat. So she stayed in the taxi and the taxi driver's taking her back to Gaylord Palms so she can find her coat and then she'll have to come back here again. She thinks she left it on the bench where we were sitting, but we didn't realize it until we got back here. So I'm just gonna wait here in the lobby for both Meg Megan and Ben to come back and then our plan is to go to Disney Springs and that's what the rest of this video will be about. So stay tuned. Here are the November recreation experiences. And the movies. It's Wednesday, so tonight is Monsters, Inc. Nobody's in here right now, so I thought I'd show you the Pop Century public restroom off the lobby. It's huge. This is the women's. big Disney store. Um, it's in the Marketplace Co-op. There's a little queue here. You get two studios and backgrounds and they're a surprise what backgrounds you get so you don't actually know. And then this, you get four pictures of the first studio and then you go to the Christmas studio and you get six there. And it's included with our memory maker. Frustrating. I'll have to wait and see what the pictures turned out to look like, but we waited in line a very long time. The first photographer was very fast. She took like all the pictures in like 30 seconds. The second photographer was really slow, and there were a lot of big family groups, and so we were waiting in line, I think maybe like 40, 45 minutes. We have a secondary problem right now in that it is pouring rain outside and we are not dressed for the weather at all. I checked the weather a couple different times before the trip. As of the day before we left, it was not predicted to rain any day at all while we were here. So this is a little frustrating because it's pouring and we'll get soaked if we leave this store. Not really sure what we're gonna do next because we don't wanna go outside if it's still raining. Okay, we're at Amaretz Patisserie where I managed to grab a table. The kids both got the banana. Banana hazelnut crepe. crepe. Which are in the weirdest box ever. We still had to wait in the line. We mobile ordered these and the drinks. We still had to wait in line so I could get an eclair. <laughs> so, because for some reason the eclair was not a mobile order. It was kind of a big mess. Also, Disney Springs is very busy and very loud. I can't hear anything. Yeah, no, it's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. kind of chaos and also Megan went to Uniqlo and couldn't find anything she wanted there. I didn't find anything I liked in the world of Disney. So kind of I always strike out on shirts. I really want more Disney shirts. Ben has a ton. But I can never find anything I like that's in my size. It's really frustrating. We're gonna pop in the Coke store. <laughs> pop in. I need a sweatshirt. All right, so we just stopped by the Coca-Cola store. 
because we were really cold and mom got a nice sweatshirt that is perfect on her, absolutely gorgeous, and matches her shirt that she's wearing today. And now we're standing by the Wish themed Christmas tree. You can see something like the notebook I just got up there. And we are about to enter AMC theaters to go see Wish. So this is perfect. I need to give you some important information if you have a disability and need a scooter or electronic conveyance vehicle like I'm going to. <laughs> At the back of the resort here, right here, you will see a big bunch of ECBs. These we thought maybe <laughs> were just part of, the, like owned by the resort, they're not. These are all rented by outside companies. The main outside company that Disney recommends is Scooterbug. There are also a bunch of other companies that you can rent from. You know what, maybe the ones sitting back here are the ones people can't fit in their rooms. And they just let them park them here. Yeah. Okay, but these are not owned by Pop Century. That's a lot of people though who are using them. Yeah. These are rented from outside companies. Look at, there's more over there. Are you reading what they say on them? We lost Ben. The rain washed them off? Oh. Okay. Okay. Anyway, the thing that is wrong with my big toe has worsened and I'm in excruciating pain. My right ankle also is giving me a little bit of trouble, which just seems to be par for the course at this point, if I have to walk a lot. The actual problem I'm having currently with my spine or my left leg is actually only mildly bothersome occasionally. <laughs> so that's actually the least of my problems right now. But I definitely am not gonna be able to do a full day at Epcot tomorrow walking, so I need an ECV. And when we tried to get me an ECV at Epcot last year, they were out. That was, Same time. that was the day after Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. We don't know if that'll help. So I just stopped at Bell Services and asked them, and they confirmed that, yeah, these ECVs that we see back here are all off-site rentals. You cannot rent an ECV for one day from an outside company. They only rent, from best I could figure, a minimum of four days. So for length of stay. So I would have had to have gotten it the first day that we got here. So that kind of sucks, but hopefully, I think they almost always still have wheelchairs. And if it came down to it, Meg will push me in the wheelchair. I might even be able to roll myself. No, 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 no. I'll push you. Okay. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't want you damaging your fingers. Yeah. My biggest problem is standing. Even if we just push the wheelchair around by itself, empty. She'll still have something to sit, sit in. Sit in when we have to stand have in to line. Stand still. Yeah, when we have to stand still. That's. I'm in such excruciating pain when I have to stand still, it's unbearable. I literally start crying. Okay, second thing we need to tell you as we're walking back to our room here at only 7.30 p.m. I bought a bag of nuts. <laughs> we have all this candy. This is from our disastrous fail at the AMC attempting to go to see Disney Wish. All right, first of all, I don't even know where to start. We did not see it, we left. We saw maybe two minutes collectively, like between us all. Yeah. Um, we missed most of the previews. We missed the entire beginning of the movie. I it was Ben's the only one who saw all the previews. Yeah, it was. He wouldn't tell me what they were. It was in an absolutely massive theater that you needed an elevator to get to the upper levels. A very, very slow elevator, mind you. There were three levels in the theater we were in. Yeah. When I first went in there, I went in the main level walked all the way up all the stairs to the far back wall and my row didn't exist and then we were kind of freaking out in the hallway and this late nice lady stopped and told us you have to take the elevator up she's like trust me the rest of the rows are up there if you're afraid of heights you don't want to be up there this was mm -hmm. theater two the secondary problem it was really hot in there it's like they had the heat on third problem where you entered that top level was at the top of a very large flight of stairs, which I could not get down. Okay, so that was a problem. 
And then the audience, it was packed. And the audience was very loud and disruptive. It was insane. They kept applauding. Like during the, the previews. previews. They were, they were screaming. Like, they were people were shouting. People were on their phones after the movie started, and the the volume, the speakers for the movie, were so loud. I thought I was gonna like have hearing damage. They were too loud, and because of that, and just generally, I couldn't understand even the parts I did see. Yeah, like I didn't know what was happening. She kept. And in the meantime, I had gone back downstairs to try to switch our seats. Because I'm like, and I explained to her, I said, I have an ankle injury. I need to get something on the main level where I just walk in and, you know, like the, the handicap row, basically. And she thought that's what she gave me. It took her forever. But when we got there, we couldn't get to it. No. We couldn't figure out how to get to it. Ben and I accidentally went into, like, two back custodian rooms. <laughs> yeah, trying to, find trying to find the way to get into it. We couldn't get to it. And so I said, you know what, forget it. Because we'd already missed so much of the movie but at that point. So we just left. 50 some bucks for the tickets and 55 bucks for our concessions in the garbage. So over a hundred bucks for a movie we did not see. And we were trying to figure That's out what we didn't eat. Yeah. Because we had a great big popcorn and two big two drinks. big drinks. We at least had the candies. But we were trying to figure out because the last two times we've been here, we went to the movies at AMC and had very positive experiences. Yeah. We went to Strange World last Thanksgiving day we realized and we went to something else on the 4th of July the actual 4th of July and so you'll realize both of those are holidays and I don't know I remember but those are holidays and we went earlier in the day this was at 615 at, at night, night. Mm -hmm. and it was just insanity yeah Disney Springs itself was also... I've never seen a rowdier Disney crowd. It was crazy. It was so busy and so loud and so chaotic. So I do not recommend <laughs> going to Disney Springs when it's like that. Um, when we went on the actual holidays, it was great. Because people apparently were off doing other things. So this was kind of a not great day overall. So that's kind of a bummer. But... I hope that you can get some lessons from this, from our disappointing experience that you may be able to use to avoid these issues if you come here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and safe travels.